everybody welcome back to the channel sorry today's video is a day late but i could not figure out what i wanted to do i was trying to decide between mardi gras bumblebee st patrick's day easter or carrot wreath and i finally decided on st patrick's day i've done two valentine wreaths i was thinking about going into mardi gras but i am having problems finding ribbon with patterns. I've been on Michaels and Hobby Lobby and I can't find any Mardi Gras pattern with the colors I have. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to order something online. I also wasn't able to find any St. Patrick's Day like shamrock themed ribbon. So we'll be working with these and trust me it's going to be green and St. Patrick's and festive and all that good stuff. So today I'm going to make a 16 inch St. Patrick's Day wreath. I'm going to be using this working wreath right here. This is 16 inches. I got this on sale at Hobby Lobby for um, half off, so it was $3. Uh, the beads here, I got these in a three pack at Dollar Tree. They had little saxophones on them. I cut those off and I didn't need the purple one. I think these are supposed to be for Mardi Gras, but I'm going to be using these more than likely in this project. I also got some floral from Dollar Tree. I also have these ribbons here. Plus these two here. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. I believe, I think it was Hobby Lobby. All of those. And then I got these little picks and coins and shamrocks from Dollar Tree. I also got some of the tube mesh from Dollar Tree. Not sure if I'm going to use this, but I got it. Dollar Tree. And then here's my sign. And the colors I'm going to be using are these right here and I'm also gonna dash a little bit of gold in here so this is everything I'm gonna be using let me put this to the side I also might use some green and gold ornaments and I have my scissors wire cutters and my glue guns and glue sticks so that's what I have I know it's a lot but we're going to see what I'm going to end up using. So the first thing I'm going to do is put all this to the side. Put this up here. And for my mesh, I am going to cut these green ones. And I'm also going to use this one to do 12 inch poofs all the way around the wreath. So I'm going to poof this. And I'm also going to cut this. So let me go ahead and cut these in 8 inch strips. And I will be right back. This is 10 inches. So 10 inch mesh. I'm going to cut these in 8 inch pieces. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all have four more pieces to cut. I'm only going to cut 16 pieces of this instead of 18 so what I do is I my my cutting mat is 24 inches so I'm cutting them 8 inches wide so I can stretch it across my cutting mat here and cut three sections My blade getting a little dull. It's time to switch it out. So that's one. Two and three. Got one more and I'll be done with this. So just stretch it out. Eight inches. 
which is to the 16 mark. And let me put this back over here. Okay, I'm through cutting all of this. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start going around my wreath frame. Let me move this out the way. Like this. So and what I'm going to do is just gather this up right here. just like this and I'm going to put it here and just twist it right there and now from here let me scoop this over a little bit from here to this 22 inch mark is 12 inches so all I'm gonna do is just gather it up here and then I'm going to go over to this next one here and just put it inside and I'm gonna do this all the way around the outside so let me go ahead and do this and I'll be right back here I had the I had the mesh I was unrolling it this way but I needed to have it this way where the it was rolling down it makes a difference but let me undo it and fix that and now I'm going to do 10 inches on the inside here so let me measure off 10 So that's about what that, but first I'm going to just bring this down, just bring it straight down. And this here. about 10 inches right here and go ahead and bring this over to this first inside one here so I'll finish with all the outside ones I'm on the inside one Let me go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave. Just so you okay, and on this last one here, it was broke, so I had to use a Chanel stem. So, go ahead and add my last bubble in that one well my next to the last bubble And 
my last one. Next, I'm going to cut this little bit off. Right there. And you can just tuck that down in there. You won't even see it. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is pull out my stems here. You're not going to cut these off. You're going to use these to put your mesh down in. So let me pull these out. So these are easy to find. But this is looking very full. I'm going to fluff it out a little bit. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good. So here's the poofed out wreath Let me fix this one Here it is so far. So now what I'm going to do is put this to the side. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my two pieces here. And I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to curl this up as tight as I can get it, but not too tight. And then I'm going to do the next one the same way. them in an X. And I'm going to add it right here. Just like this. And I'm going to do this all the way around for each one. So that'll be 16. I have 16 of these. 16 green, dark green, 16 light green. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to add them to all of these. I'll show y'all one more and then I'll go ahead and speed up the video. Take it. Roll it as tight as you can but not too tight. If you try to get it super duper tight, you'll be here all day. So then you clip this one, then you do the next one. Open this up and you add it right here. And 
and then all the way around. Okay, everybody, here it goes. It's looking extremely full. But now I want to add some gold to it. So what I'm doing is, this is five and a half by ten yards. I am going to basically cut about seven to eight pieces of this. Basically just throughout, I'm going to add just a little ruffle of gold. So let me cut a few here and then I'll show y'all. So I'm going to cut this six inches so right here and all I'm going to do is just add a little bit throughout so just gonna add a little bit here so this right here Just adding a little gold in here. So, I'm going to cut a few more of these and just put it throughout. So, of gold on the outside and now what I'm going to do this is how it looks right here just a little touch of gold so now what I'm going to do is my ribbon bundles so I'm gonna open up all my ribbons cut it up and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do my bundles Was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall trying to around the the edge here I did every other one but since it was an odd no, number uh, two of the exact same ones were next to each other and then in the middle I just start just randomly mixing them up so it's the uh, I have eight of each one of the main ribbons and then I have eight of the uh, the thin St. Patrick's Day ribbons but I just start mixing it up there's no rhyme or reason or pattern to it so let me see if I can zoom this out a little bit. But here it is. Extremely full. Extremely full. I wanted to add some more of this. I just want to put some of this throughout. Yeah. yeah. That'll be nice. You look great, I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall garland 
throughout. I like that. I like that. Okay. Now, I knew I was missing a couple of these. Didn't know where they had went, but now I do. So. Put that in there. And this one here. That'll be alright. But, got that. Let's see. thinking add little gold beads y'all I'm just decorating it because I think it looks cool and I'm gonna put just drooping there let me go ahead and cut this off hmm, I like that Still thinking, <laughs> but I do know I want some of these. So let me go ahead and add some of these to it. right here okay I'll just hot glue some Chanel stamps to the back of my little happy St. Patrick's Day sign in my truck and I'm letting those dry for a couple of minutes okay hot glue hot glue everywhere okay I'm trying to decide now if I really need to use any of the floral so Once I add the centerpiece, I'll decide if I want any floral on it. I don't need the ornaments. I do know that. I don't need the ornaments. And I am through with these, I believe. So, let me go ahead and grab the sign and attach this. And then I'll decide whether or not if I need any floral or any of the picks or anything. Because I have a lot going on here. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it was getting too big for that angle. <laughs> to make a bow so uh, what I need is 24 inches so that's 12 that's 12 I'm gonna cut each ribbon
24 inches. making steps so I'm gonna start off with the burlap one so go down five get my pipe cleaner here put this right here and twist it up nice and tight Just fluff it out. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across. Okay, and here is my bow. There are some green. But, oh, it's just fuzz. Couldn't get it off at first, but this is my bow. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay, everybody, here's the finished product. This took a while because basically I didn't know how I wanted to do it. I was just doing this, that, and everything else. But here's the finished product. Let me get a close up for you. There's that bow right up there. And here's the view of this. And here it is. I hope y'all like this. Uh, it took me a while <laughs> to do this one, but I think this is my best one yet. I love it. It's really big. This is on a 16 inch frame. So with everything added, <laughs> this is at least like 26 to 30 inches across. So it's a big one. But if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe. I'm so close to 500 subscriber. I'm trying to get there. I know, shameless plug, but if you haven't, please subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.